Okay, so this looks a bit clunky, um, but it's a virtual world deck that's been really popular, uh, floating around new format that includes the Brave Engine. So we'll get, we'll go straight into it, I suppose. It's not using the Scythe uh, package, but I still think it's really strong, especially this format as well, having the Brave Engine um, to protect your plays to to end on like a Shen Shen. I think it's really solid. Um, this deck will always come up. I think if people will play this deck. Um, quite a bit more now because of Master Duel, how popular it is on Master Duel. Um, so people probably pick it up in real life, try it. Obviously VFD is not legal in, Master, uh, in TCG. So yeah, we'll get straight into it. So play through Gamma, I think this card's really insane still. Say for example, you don't see a Brave Engine um, and you have quite a few names in hand. If they say for example, Ash Yalulu, Chin Gamma is just really insane. So. I still want to include this. I could cut it to make this card this deck a little bit uh, less cards, but um, I think 44 is fine with the Gamma package. Uh, same goes for Ash. I think Ash is really strong as well in this deck. It can hit a lot of um, good spell cards, just like Fateful Adventure, as well as the fusion cards. Um, so yeah, that's it for the hand traps. You also play Ghost Ogre, but that's part of our uh, Itali uh, package as well. So as you can see in the side, we side two because I think it's really impactful hand trap this format, but we'll get over that in a bit. So uh, Lulu, uh, Lao Lao, Gigi and Lili, these are your three ofs. And then for the two ofs, you just play Nyan Nyan. Um, not playing 2-2, I don't think you really need it this format. Uh, it's just another, it is another name, but I don't think it comes up as much anymore. Um, so yeah, for the Brave Engine, three Enchantress with the Griffin, of course, along with three right and one Adventure. Plus Draco back. I think Draco back is an absolute staple in this engine. A lot of people are cutting it, but I think it just does so much. And it's so free. It's just such a free card to have. So uh, I think Draco back is really important for this engine. And then after spells, obviously playing Q Long, um, along with the Kowloon. Three E Telly and one called by the Grave. There aren't too many Scythe outs. Um, if they shotgun. Shock in the scythe, you could gamma it, I suppose, but I think Corb the Grave is just an important card in general. It's just a very staple card. Uh, it does what it says on the tin. Graveyard removal, uh, stops hand traps, stops scythe. Just a good card. Uh, stops Lancia as well, it's really important for this deck. And then the standard trap lineup with two Choo Choo and, or Choo Che, how do you, you want to say it? And the one um, Jean Wu. So, yeah, really solid deck. I, I really like playing this deck in his peak. A super versatile as well. I think the interactions this deck has uh, versus the format is really strong. Having a Dryden's like effect with Chuche, as well as the uh, built-in archetype Shen Chen, which is like a macro, uh, like a macro cosmos banishes anything from the field uh, since the graveyard. So yeah, this guy's really strong. Yeah, I, I'm, I'd be interested to see what this deck does in the future. Obviously, like I said at the start of the video, you can play Scythe in this deck, but I'm just opting not to do it in this, in this particular video. Um, probably would say Scythe is the best card of the format, so we could opt to play it. Um, but this is just a build that doesn't include it, that's all. So for side deck, uh, two more Ghost Ogre. I think having these two in a side is really nice because there's so many interactions and choke points in certain decks that this card just is insane against, it's really impactful. Um, if you want some more uh, guidance on that, let me know, I'll do a separate video on hand traps, etc. So let me know in the comments. Same with Token Collector, it just hits Brave, um, hits Sword Soul. It's just a really solid card that I, I would like to play in the side deck. For if for any mid-range sort of deck um, that has space for hand traps, even combo decks that have space for hand traps, I like to consider Token Collector straight away this format. Uh, same goes for Lancia, it just does so much. Um, and yeah, it just, it just shuts off turns. And if you can shut off a turn and set up your Brave Engine along with the Shen Shen plus a uh, Crystal Wing or even a Dragoon. It's just, it just does so much. And then Cosmic because it's more uh, outs to Skill Drain, more outs to Scythe and just a really solid card in general for back row decks because uh, there's so many back row decks that just come up now and then so you want to have outs to those. Same with the Twin Twister and Reboot. I think Reboot's is a really good card to just side in every time you go second. I feel like a lot of times in testing where I'd play a deck and they'd set like Imperium for example or like a strike and then even not against trap decks I'm talking against like mid-range decks and even against uh, 
Phantom Knights as well. You, you, they go um, Fog Blades, you chain this, and then you Zeus away the entire board. So there's, there's uh, ways you can play this like, going second naturally into any deck, and it's just insane. Uh, is it bannable? I don't know. Um, extra deck, I haven't changed too much in here. It, the extra deck is pretty questionable, to, to be fair. You could play DP in this deck. Um, actually, no, you can't because you're locked into uh, level three or higher, so you cannot play DP in this deck. Um, so we go for Mud, uh, Muddy Mud Dragon, makes your Dragoon. So the combo is you uh, set up the Zolkan and then fuse it away uh, using Mud Muddy Dragon as a Dark Magician, and you make Dragoon. It doesn't have the uh, on field pop effects, but it's just in the gate, and obviously, it can't be targeted or destroyed still. So yeah, pretty good this format. Also, this card beats Prank Kids, and I think once people realise how good Prank Kids is and start to realise that this card is insane against Prank Kids, we could see more Dragoon in the format. So let me know your views on that. I'd be interested to see. Um, playing the one Stardust, I think drawing cards is fun, and it can set you up for Zolkan plays, so pretty good card. Uh, Familiar Mech is just insane breaking boards. I think Croc could pr probably be cut. Um, but if you're in an awkward position, especially in a grind game where you need to get cards in hand, uh, say for a, a Q Long pitch or for a Zhan Wu pitch, um, it's just good to get an extra draw. Shen Chen is very insane. You could place two. Um, I feel like DD Crow might com come back into the format, uh, but we'll have, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, Crystal Wing, because it's very good to summon off your Zulkan. Uh One Break Sword, one Gossip Shadow. The Fortune Tune, because it's good for making your Zeus. Uh, Utopia Beyond, so not many people play this, but I quite like it for just like closing out games. Randomly, you can just it can just attack the game, and you can make a, uh, a Zeus out of it as well, which is pretty insane. And then same for uh, the M7. So I like this card in general. Uh, gives you back resources, um, and obviously you can make a Zeus over it as well. And then Zeus and Dragoon. So that's the deck. That is your Virtual World plus Brave sort of template if you guys want to take it away uh, learn it and let me know any thoughts I'm always open to suggestions and ways to improve the deck so leave your comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one